First of all, thanks QAnon people for being such babies. You reported my video of making fun of your inauguration meltdown for cyberbullying and got it taken down. I guess it's fine for you to tell the world everyone who doesn't agree with you eats babies, but no one else can joke about stuff, you goddamn pussies. <laughs> anyway, we are witnessing a real revolution in the way the financial sector works. Not some goddamn stupid plan. Well, it is a stupid plan, but it's funny. The meme stock market is here and the establishment is freaking out. You may have noticed that GameStop's share price has risen to a ridiculous level very, very quickly. Now, that's not because the company is worth anything. It's not. It's doomed. But it's due to the 2.8 million meme lords at the Wall Street bets on Reddit. It's called bets because they know the stock market is just a form of gambling and they noticed that hedge funds were heavily shorting GameStop stocks. For anyone who doesn't know, shorting stocks is where you borrow stocks. You sell them for, say, $10 based on the assumption slash gamble that it's going to go down. So you can buy them back for $5 then pay the loan back while having made 5 bucks. Hedge funds do this all the time. They often buy way over 100% of the shares available. No, I don't know why that's legal either. Sell them, then manipulate the market by going on TV and telling the world what a terrible company, say, GameStop is to make them crash so they can pay back the loan and profit. Which is supposed to be illegal, but one rule for me and another rule for thee. That's how the world works, isn't it? So Wall Street Bet noticed that certain hedge funds had gone big on shorting GameStop. Way too big, because these type of people think they're untouchable and no one can stop their scam. Well, they've just found out that is not the case anymore. Armed with stimulus checks and collective autism, Wall Street Bets banded together to drive up the price to ludicrous levels and vow to never sell it. And that means the hedge fund managers still have to buy the stock back to pay their their debt, but this time they're going to be taking huge losses. They may have cost them billions and billions. I'm pretty sure we are going to be seeing several hedge fund companies go under by Friday. They simply lost too much money to ever recover it. As one of the Wall Street Bets users put it, we can remain retards longer than they can remain solvent. Yes. <laughs> and the collective panic on the establishment's faces is wonderful to see and should wake a lot of people up as to how they see you as a person. As in, they don't. You are a worthless little peasant and how dare you make money at their expense. Only they are allowed to manipulate the markets and steal all your money. Only they're allowed to watch Bitcoin reach 40k then start telling everybody it's going to crash so people who still believe the fake news media sell and then they can buy it all up. Only they're allowed. Do you think you should be allowed to make money? Let me know in the comments below. They've even resorted to lying. Just flat out lying in a desperate bid to get everybody to stop so they can continue on with their scam. They went on TV and a certain hedge fund proclaimed they had closed out of their GameStop position. Basically saying, lol, you've got us. Please stop though. Well, they haven't closed out. They're still in it and looking at Bust Town. They're trying everything to get this to stop. Here's another idiot decrying the common filth for making money by comparing it to being a website being hacked. No, idiot. People noticed that you were doing something very ethically questionable. By the way, if GameStop had gone bankrupt, all of the hedge fund's short gains would have been tax-free. So that is what they were aiming for, and Wall Street Bets stopped you from doing it, and in the process, ruined you. Good. Now they're calling on GameStop's stock to be given a 30-day ban to cool off, or translated into real English. Will your presence just stop making money? So what else can they do? Everything they've tried is just pushing the stock price up, not down. All right, of course. It's all down to white supremacy. If some of you don't like it's happening, pretend it's white supremacy. The old faithful. Doesn't have to make sense, but more racism. But I don't think this stuff works as well as it did anymore, especially with Joe Biden really annoying all the leftists who voted for him. I think they might be waking up from their slumber. That's it for today's video. Don't forget to like and share and subscribe if you want to see more content like this. Thanks, boy.